Hello, fellow travelers. It is I, Traveling Bobert. Some of you have compared me to that trumped-up little squirt, nomadic fanatic. In this video, I intend to delicately explain to you why that notion is full of bullshit. I am not at all like that pygmy. He can't even reach the top shelf at the supermarket. For starters, I make all my own music. I even sing in some of my songs. Nomadic Fanatic can't even sing the C.R. Boger jingle. C.R. Boger. What a tool. I live in a house with full utilities. Water, electricity, high-speed internet. It has everything, including a music studio. Eric Jacobs, on the other hand, lives in a tiny metal box surrounded by refuse and has to crap in a bucket and hope that it hasn't filled the hole in the ground meant for his shit. I don't mind a little rain. I'm not afraid of hot or cold weather. I travel to the northernmost point in the USA. All he ever does is cry like a toddler because the elements does not suit him. Eric Jacobs didn't change his name. His whole family changed theirs because they were embarrassed of him. I live in a recreational vehicle because it's my job. I spend several weeks documenting my travels across America. Unlike Eric, I can travel into Canada. Why? Because I have a clean criminal record. In fact, I have been to several countries. I am not limited to the connected United States. I'm not some bum who squats in his RV all day waiting for his YouTube ad revenue check. And I don't force animals to live in a cramped RV their whole goddamn lives or use them for content. His viewers care more about his pets than he does. He sheds a few crocodile tears after they die and they accept his act as being totally genuine. I've been married for the same woman for decades. Eric Jacobs treats women like foster pets. His words, not mine. But I tried to leave my personal life out of my videos. I have 266,000 subscribers, which is proof that you don't need drama to have a successful channel on YouTube. I earn my subs through skill and talent. I don't have to buy subs. He makes a few drone shots and time-lapse videos, and suddenly he's this prolific cinematographer. He couldn't hold down a spot on that show The RVers. I could have easily won that position due to my history with the Discovery Channel, Telemundo, and Sony. When he was playing his Nintendo Entertainment System, I was busy escaping from the socialist utopia that is Cuba! He and I are not the same! Get that ridiculous shit out of your heads! Till next time, thank you so much for watching, and see you on the road. I'm riding in my recreational vehicle, wherever I may be, I am free in my recreational vehicle, yeah!